He may only be a few weeks old, but this little guy is already causing a big shakeup in the British monarchy. Princess Eugenie and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, welcomed their second child, Ernest George Ronnie Brooksbank, on May 30th. And although he's not even on solid food yet, young Ernest has made some pretty big waves in the British monarchy's highly coveted line of succession. Now, he may only be a grandnephew to King Charles, but this baby boy is 13th in line to the throne just behind his big brother, August Brooksbank. He's also the first of the late Queen Elizabeth's great-grandchildren to be born following her death in September and the third grandchild for the Duke and Duchess of York, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. And naming this baby was no easy task. All four, yes, four names are loaded with meaning. Ernest George Ronnie Brooksbank. Ernest's middle name, which is George, is inspired by his great-great-great-grandfather, King George V, who also had Ernest as a middle name. Now, the middle name is also a tribute to Mr. Brooksbank's father, George, who died in 2021 after being ill for some time. Ronnie is a nod to the Duchess of York's father, the Major Ronald Ferguson, who died in 2003. Eugenie said the new baby's names were inspired by his great-great-great-grandfather George, his grandpa George, and my grandpa Ronald. Princess Eugenie married Jack Brooksbank in October of 2018 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. The couple live in Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, which, as you probably know, was previously occupied by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle before they moved to California. However, Eugenie and Jack won't be living there all that much. Like Prince Harry, Princess Eugenie is not a working royal. Nope, she and her husband actually work for a living. Previously, Eugenie lived in the United States in New York for two years while she worked for an online auction company called Paddle 8. Now, she currently is the director for the London Art Gallery, Hauser & Wirth, but will have to spend a significant amount of time working remotely as her husband has gotten a gig with land developer Discovery Land Company. So, they'll be splitting their time between the UK and Portugal, specifically at Costa Terra Golf and Ocean Club, which Discovery Land Company is developing. Eugenie announced the birth of her son on Instagram, sharing a picture of him wearing a knitted blue and white hat asleep in a Moses basket. She also posted a photo of her first child, two-year-old August, resting his hand on his new brother's head. Augie is loving being a big brother already, she wrote. The newest member of the royal family has officially been added to the line of succession on the royal family's website. And with his addition, which is currently at 13th in line, Princess Eugenie's Uncle Prince Edward moves down a place, and Edward's teenage children, James, Viscount Severin, and Lady Louise, subsequently move down a slot. Now, just as a refresher, in case you need it, that means the order after King Charles goes Prince William, then his children, George, Charlotte, and Louis, that makes Prince Harry fifth in line, followed by his children, Archie and Lilibet. Eighth in line is Charles' younger brother, Prince Andrew. Ninth is Andrew's oldest daughter and Eugenie's older sister, Princess Beatrice. Beatrice's daughter comes in 10th, and then Princess Eugenie herself is 11th. That makes her sons, August and Ernest, 12th and 13th. And of course, everyone else gets knocked down a slot. Also, even though Ernest is the son of a princess, the young man is not and will not be called a prince. That's because royal rules state that the title of either prince or princess can only be conveyed to the children and grandchildren of a monarch. Eugenie qualifies as princess because her grandmother was Queen Elizabeth. But since the closest connection for Ernest and his older brother August to the monarchy is as great-grandchildren to the late queen, they're just regular dudes. So, that's the new royal lineup. Of course, nobody expects the crown to go anywhere other than Prince William and eventually his son George. But, it's still pretty cool to be included in the royal family tree, right? Good luck, Ernie. 